Oh, we live. Ready? Yeah. Yeah. Three, two, one. in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is Apostle Dr. David D. King. Alongside, we have Miss Virginia in the house. And we also have my brother. Miss yeah. Virginia's in here, y'all. Yeah. I, I just can't get a break. Miss <laughs> Virginia. I need another woman in here. That's all. We just, we just need you. We just need Miss Virginia. That's all. That's all we need is Miss Virginia. Amen. Paging Miss Virginia. <laughs> and we also have Dr. JBJ in, yes. in the house. Amen. And this is Best of the Milwaukee. This is our show. We are about to have some fun. We Y'all know how we do things, right? We bring truth into the city of Milwaukee. We, when it's not about, uh, I mean, we can have a debate calling all non-believers or whatever you want to call yourself, but we're going to have some fun today, right? Come on, come on. And, uh, and so we invite you guys to, um, to tune in, to Call a friend, tell him, say, that crazy man, Dr. King is on again, and he's going to tell us some things about ourselves. And and But it, this is to empower people. That's what this is really about. This is all about empowering and, and being a blessing to each and every one of you here in Radio Land, those that are part of our podcast that's watching from uh, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook. We want to welcome each and every one of you guys as well with us. And and so a couple of announcements that we want to get out right away, and then we're just going to go on in with the show. And so the first announcement we want to do is they, there is a National Day of Prayer. National Day of Prayer, and it's going to be on uh, May the 2nd. 2024 from 12 noon to 2 p.m. at the state capitol. We're going to be up at the state capitol um, praying not only for our families. Uh, May 18th Kingdom Constitutional Summit will be May 18th uh, and we'll be at Hill, our city, God Inside Out. And we're going to be there from 9 to 12. If you have a ministry, if you have a business, um, you need to be there so you can learn about PMAs, Private Ministry Association, um, you can learn the Constitution, and you need to learn about the kingdom so you can have an awesome time. I don't know about anybody else. I am looking for an awesome time, and education is more powerful than anything uh, that you can think of. You know, if you don't have the power, you don't have the knowledge, you're always going to be governed instead of being the governor. And so we definitely want you guys to... Um, Take a look, May 18th. For more information now, you can call me at 414-676-0842, 414-676-0842. And if you really, really want some knowledge, there's a book called Why Is It Important to Stay in the Middle from a Kingdom Perspective. This book is only $10. Amen. It is published by Dr. David D. King himself. And we're about to go into this book in a minute. But if you want a copy of this book, it's called Why is Important to Stay in the Middle 
from a kingdom perspective. And it, the number is 414 I guess the first thing is like, why is it important to stay in the middle? <laughs> well, it's it's a, it's important to stay in the middle, especially if you belong to God. And 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 sometimes when you're dealing with politics and when you're dealing with government, sometimes it'll pull you away from God, even though you use God's name. And you know, it reminds me of remember the show, The Price Is Right. Yeah. And then they had so many seconds to put the price there and then you flip it to see if they, if it matched. Yeah. Well, with politics and, and the church or the politics and kingdom, they doesn't match. OK, because you can be in there saying how much you love God and then support something that's going against God because of your political stance. When the Bible even taught us, do not sway left or right. If it's telling us not to go one or the other, we supposed to be in the middle. Well, what about that scripture that says, uh, you know, no gray area? You know, you guys got to be black or white. You got to be hot or cold. It's going to spool you out of his mouth. No, right. When you talk about in the middle, now you're talking about the gray area, right? Well, now, now you're talking about the truth area. <laughs> because I, I use it like my mom used to tell us. My mom used to say there's there's always two sides to a story. Yes. And then there's the truth. Mm. And right now we get two sides of stories. And now we're dealing, now we got to deal with the truth. For example, they tell us that we are in a democracy. Right. The United States is not a democracy. The United States is a constitution republic. Mm. And so when we understand that, 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 that our constitution is a covenant between we the people and we the people. Right. So my right stops when I start to violate yours. So when you're talking about a constitution versus a constitutional republic versus a democracy, mm -hmm. you gotta take a little bit slow now. Okay. Because because that is, we've heard our whole life that we are a democracy. Yes, because they try to make it a democracy, okay. and they use. So, what's the difference? Well, you you have to look at it like this: we're supposed to be governed by we the people. the murdering of a person that's pregnant should only be charged with one, one homicide, not two. Not two. Right. Because you can't have it both ways. And then they use my body, my choice. But when it was time uh, during the pandemic, it wasn't our body, our choice. Mm. Right. See, the majority, it all depends on who's playing it out. 
All right. But if you just stay with the word, the Constitution, and you line it up with what it says, that's it. I mean, we don't have to try to just like they say, they're trying to say the Bible is outdated. Right. Because you see people trying to change it. And they say the Constitution is outdated because it's not it's not guiding in the direction that they want it to guide in. Right. Yeah. So so let's let's just look at this. This country was never designed to be a two party country. It was never designed to be like that. Okay. All right. This is why they have talked about the danger of two company. Two parties. Two parties, right? You start off with a quote from uh, John Adams in a letter to Jonathan Jackson. I thought that was uh, phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, and it says, there is nothing which I dread so much as a division of the Republic into two great parties, each arranged under its leader and concerting measures in opposition to Did not like it. What did they do? They removed it. They removed. They it. thought. Well, they thought it was um, um, encapsulating slavery and using the black woman as uh, a slave, and so her, her that was her her slave name, ain't your mama? Instead of uh, looking at it in a different perspective, but that was the narrative. So my question was. What happened all these other years? <laughs> y'all didn't, didn't think about that. Y'all didn't think about that. What about when 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 the ancient mama came out? <laughs> y'all didn't think about it then. Well, I think the culture and the time was different then. I mean, you were there were people, and back then you're in the slave mentality. You just got freedom, and, and I, the culture has really progressed since then. So people have changed. There's more freedoms. People are, have the ability to speak out more. They were fighting for uh, voting rights. They were fighting for those things. So that wasn't the main concern right then when you had they had so many issues that they were fighting at that time. You were fighting the KKK. They were more prevalent at that time. It was other issues that were being fought at that time. So I think that's the reason that it wasn't, you know, one of the things that were it wasn't okay. to fight at that time. But you, but you also have to look. Aunt your mama wasn't back there in slavery. Aunt your mama, when did Aunt your mama start? In 1950? 1960? But what was the mentality in the 50s? It was the, the best. The was totally different. But the best, it? but the best cooks. So so if, if that's the case, if that's the case, and we're doing it based off of culture, right? Why do we keep using slavery when most of the slaves that got free prospered? If slavery was doing that much damage, why did we have so many leave? Black Wall Street came behind slavery. What happened, right? Uh, uh, I'm confused. Are you saying slavery wasn't bad? No, I'm not saying slavery wasn't because bad. What I'm no so bad. Why did no, no, no. What what I'm saying is we're using that slavery today. That's what we're using. But the slaves that got freed. They went on and they prospered. They they invented things. They they uh they they did great things. They had uh you had
and they were that. So they invented, we were a people that invented to make our lives. Okay, easy. but what I'm saying is today, we can't use slavery today unless we're on our way back to slavery. Oh, I agree with that. Because every time you turn around, slavery this, slavery that. Build a bridge, get over it, and let's do some things. We got to do some great things. But they use that. And, and I'm so glad that we're talking about the two parties because they use it. One, like they, one is talking about the o, o, uh, oppression of voting, right? But did they ever go back to see who was the oppressor of voting? The Democrat Party, right? Then you got one saying, well, we freed you from slavery. Okay, but what have you done lately? You see what I'm saying? So they use these things on us. This is why it's important for us to come to the middle and stop allowing either side to use that slavery thing into, into doing things the way they, they've been done. Well, yeah, you, you're, you're right. Because because when you look at when you look at the division, I always say this, and I've been saying this since uh, for, for years, that the, 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 the division, we've already divided, divided by color. Right. right? As they've already put that stigma out there. Right. Right. Now we're going to go and get divided by a, a party. Right. So now you've got black people that's going to be Republican, and now you got black people that's going to be uh, Democrat. Uh, uh, Republican and black people going to be Democrat. Right? right. So now we're divided again. Right. Then you got to put in there our church different classes of our church. Right. right? And so now that divides us. Yeah. Then you got to put in our economic status. We say we believe in, that's what we believe in, that's what it is, that's where we're going, no matter what. But when you look at the, the like, if let's look at what I wrote in here. I said, through my experience here in Wisconsin, I have seen division, hatred, deception, and manipulation, manipulation of the people. We are being manipulated based off of our emotions. Needs of, look at it this way. Neither party did anything for us to better us, right? We have to learn how to do that ourselves. Mm -hmm. And so when you look at it, they both come at you for voting. Mm -hmm. But they neither one wants you to prosper. Neither one wants you to know the truth. Neither one want to empower you. Why? Because if they empower you, they can't manipulate you no more. Okay, and so when we look at this thing, we've been we've been listening to people say this or that about um, about our, our country. Um, if the Republicans get the country, we're gonna be really really in trouble. If the Democrats get the country, we're gonna really 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 be in trouble. And here's the news flash: they both is, was in charge of the country, and where are we at? Really, really in trouble. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So if we don't go back to govern, right? If we don't go back and look at it from from a a a a, a real agenda, what's the what's agenda that that the people want, right? That's just like I said before and during the campaign, we was hollering Black Lives Matter, but if we got we never got to the table, blacks still ain't getting nothing. Transgender got more than blacks. Transgenders right now today got more rights than blacks. In a short amount of time. In a short amount of time. And guess who gave it to them? The same ones that say they was there for the blacks. The Democrat Party. They said, they, oh, we there for y'all. We're going to do this for y'all. We're going to do that. And they went and took care of transgenders before they took care of blacks. And not only that, not only that, when it was International Women's Day, they gave the award to a man. Mm. <laughs> yes. So, so, so when... 
when are we going to realize that neither party is there for us and we got to rise up and be there for ourselves? Right. So the, the danger of the two parties. Yes. Or either side, right? What? Okay, I give you that, right? I'm going to be forced to say I'm with the Democratic Party. I'm going to be forced to say I'm with the Republican Party. Not necessarily. Okay, so what 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 are we doing that in that situation? Then what you you can stay in the middle and say, okay, I'm going to look for independence. Okay. Okay. Or you can look at it because the primary is over. You can say, okay, you know what? This person over here, they even though they got a D behind their name, they're lining up with my principles, right? Or, and then this person got an R behind their name and they're lining up. So I can choose my candidates. I don't have to. I give an example, Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln chose a Democrat to be his vice president. Because why? He was trying to bring the country back together. Gotcha. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, we ain't going to try that now because... You you got it. That's crazy. You you either part of them and or you blackball. And so what we have to understand and realize is this: if we ever want better, we have to bring people that's going to run independent and not loyal to any party. So when they make a decision, they're going to make it for the people and not a party. Because if you look at, for example, if you look at the platforms, look at both platforms, and 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 and. I know you was going to read one of, what was it, the Democrat platform? Democrat platform. And it was like 92 sheets, yeah, 92, 92 pages. Was like, yeah, 100 pages. And then I was going to, uh, I haven't got to the Republican one yet, but I'm going to read that one too. Because I wanted to, the question was like, you asked me like, what is their, what are their platform? Is it's a beholding? It's a beholding to a party, whatever that platform is. Um, we don't. We as a people don't necessarily know and agree. May may or may not agree with.